Hello there. This weather for the week ahead bulleting looks more akin to what we'd expect in midwinter rather than early March. However, we do expect snow at times in early March. It's not unusual. Tuesday, though, promises to be another wintry mix of snow and ice across more northern parts of the UK. Again, likely to lead to some travel disruption as well. So this cold Arctic air mass pushing southwards across most of the country uh, by Tuesday. Uh, so it's going to feel colder across the board. We do wake up again to cloudier skies across the south of the country. Outbreaks of rain, a bit of sleet and snow mixed into this, certainly over the higher ground. But elsewhere, plenty of sunshine away from northern and eastern coasts, which will be peppered again with frequent snow showers. But a good deal of sunshine in between. Cold day to come for all. We're looking at values, low single figures for most. Factor in the wind, certainly across northern areas, it's going to feel sub-zero. They're minus four Celsius feeling like like in Aberdeen. That takes us into a very cold night, Tuesday night, widespread frost and some ice around, minus double digits there across the snowfields of Scotland. And we start to see a bit of a, an air mass uh, battle uh, taking place on Wednesday. This slightly milder air with rain starts to push into the cold air across southern areas. So we could start to see the rain turning to snow throughout the day on Wednesday. Certainly later in the day on Wednesday, we could see an area of widespread, more disruptive snow across the south and the southwest. Few snow showers again across northern and eastern coasts. Otherwise, plenty of sunshine here, but a very cold day wherever you are. Now, this disruptive snowfall increases, I think, towards the end of the week as we see further bands of rain moving northwards into that cold air bringing this disruptive snowfall. It will be turning briefly milder across the south, but there's still a question mark on this. At the moment, it looks like on Thursday, this more vigorous area of low pressure starts to work its way in. That'll bring an area of disruptive snowfall, we think, across parts of Wales, the Midlands, Northern England, Northern Ireland, pushing into central and southern Scotland. Could see some significant accumulations of snow over the hills even some down to lower levels as well. It will be turning gradually milder across the south and the southwest, so precipitation turning back to rainfall here, but very cold with an increasing risk of ice across northern areas. Thursday into Friday, looks like the main snow risk will be across the northern quarter of the country on the northern flank of this area of low pressure. As it pulls out into the North Sea, it opens the floodgates back to a, a cold Arctic northerly. So we could see disruptive snow for Northern Ireland, certainly across much of Scotland through Friday, and then as that that northerly digs back in, we could see further snow showers piling into northern and eastern coastal areas again. So another cold and icy day here, less cold further south, a little bit milder. However, the cold air winds out as we move through Friday night into Saturday. And again, this milder air may want to push back in again across southern and western areas as the rain bumps into the cold air. Once again, we could be looking at some disruptive snowfall through central, southern and western areas Best of any drier, sunnier weather we think at this stage will be across the north. Again, some very mild air towards the far southwest, but a cold outlook for most. And I think as we move through part two of the weekend into the following week, it does look like the cold air winds out again. Could see some rain at times, but there'll certainly be some wintry weather over the high ground. But quite a lot to play for over the next week, so stay tuned.